Hello and welcome back to the traffic reverse proxy videos. I'm going to show uh, how DNS channel challenge works. Uh, and uh, for that I have a diagram to show and then some set of components. Uh, I have stopped the Docker Compose stack on my public web server. So it's out of the picture now. I've gone into this directory or moved into this directory example 5. It has some files in it. Very good. And do I have any stack running here? Nothing is running. So I'm going to remove this acme.json file from here. And I'm going to touch before I forget it. acme.json and change mod 0600acme.json very good so this was a side step sorry forgive me for confusion confusion I have this directory and in, in this directory I have a compose file and traffic dot Tumul file and I also have some credentials here I'll show you in a bit so this is the diagram and I have a setup roughly like this right now in my computer uh, I have docker compose which will bring up traffic traffic which will also bring up a small container a web container which is nginx tomcat and mysql and something and it's not on public network yes it's not on public network so the only choice I have is DNS challenge and for that I have this DNS provider here which is uh, root 53 on AWS and I have a zone for this lab.trachma.com hosted here so let me write that here just for the sake of completeness uh, lab dot pragma dot com this is the zone and this is the empty zone here and why I'm saying it's empty it's because if I show you it is actually empty here if you if I click on hosted zones I see my zone here lab.trachma.com and it is empty it doesn't have any records except a name server uh, and a start of authority and nothing else it had multi-tool in it but I removed it because uh, uh, multi-tool uh, record was just used for HTTP challenge and it's not used anymore and I have stopped that uh, that stack anyway so this is the empty zone it's in uh, root 53 so how do I use root 53 for DNS challenge I check uh, traffic documentation and it has a complete uh, guide on that and I can just switch to DNS challenge actually provider and see what all providers that it does it support so it differs from uh, acme client to acme client traffic is an acme client it supports these dns providers some other acme client might support some other dns or more or less dns providers that's uh, that's always going to be different so it has a lot of these uh, listed here azure digital ocean godaddy uh, and you have to see whether uh, 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 an item listed here is it actually tested as well and uh, this tested says wildcard and root domain support that's what you should also look at so I go down 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 root 53 and I see it's supported very good and I need to provide these keys or these uh, configurations to my ACME client because the ACME client will fulfill the challenge 
ECBI server, certificate server will just validate whether the challenge is fulfilled or not. So I need to have AWS access key, some secret key and a hosted zone ID. I need these three items. I don't need region because on AWS region uh, DNS is always global and I can show you uh, hosted zone. You see here global? That's the global thing. It's not in any uh, available uh, region. It's global. Okay, so I go back to my terminal where I have this compose file in example 5 directory and I see this time that I have an environment variable, environment section in which I'm supposed to provide some keys. And the rest of the stuff is uh, as before. It's supposed to mount an acme.json file and uh, it has nginx, it has tomcat and mysql db. nginx is, has this fqdn, uh, tomcat has this fqdn that's it. So all of these have the same domain lab.procma.com. So if I get a wildcard certificate I can serve all of them. Right? So I exit and I have uh, credentials which I can provide to my docker compose or to, to traffic through docker compose so I can display it cat this and I'm going to copy access key ID and secret access key and uh, yeah docker compose so excuse me I'm going to copy this and put it in access key ID and I'm going to copy this and put in secret access key okay now I don't need this line here I can delete this one and I still need hosted zone ID so I can go to my interface here I click somewhere here oh it's here hosted zone ID copy Z3PF and I remove this. Okay, very good. So now I have provided these entries or provided these key items as environment variables. And you don't necessarily need to provide them in this file because they are secrets and secrets should not be in files. Secrets should come from environment variables or secrets should come from some secret management system such as vault but that's not the idea right now the idea is just to explain to you how traffic works with all of this so I don't have to modify anything else in my docker compose I save and exit and uh, I modify traffic.toml file and what do I do here I go to acme section and in ACME section, I'm going to say that this time I'm going to use DNS challenge and I'm going to use this provider which is root 53. And it's normally very good to use public resolvers to do this challenge because sometimes, as I showed you in the diagram, if you have your private setup and your domain is using internal IP addresses, uh, using that domain name uh, then uh, this DNS challenge would not complete because uh, traffic would not never be able to uh, find the zone on the internet and cannot modify it it will keep trying to modify the local uh, uh, DNS or even not even try in some cases but let's come back to this example so we have DNS challenge which says this is my provider and go and check this and uh, contact the provider or resolve any names related to this domain using international web uh, DNS servers 
and what I'm interested in is I need a wildcard certificate it, it's written like this asterisk dot lab dot dot com or star dot lab dot dot com and that's it you have a DNS challenge and provide a route 53 and you specify what wildcard you want and oh for, forgive me for forgetting you should use staging server before you actually try to do anything else right you can't afford to be blocked out okay so staging server DNS provider and to use this provider we have provided key values uh, certain key uh, pieces of information in uh, docker compose file okay and I have already deleted and recreated acme.json file with correct permissions so I will start the stack docker compose up minus D and I'm going to check logs for that I first I verify that all four services are running I do docker logs minus F and my traffic container let's see what's going on I have my ACME provider here and it's testing certificate and finds it's empty which is correct it goes on register itself uh, ACME registering registering account for this using DNS one resolver preparing to solve DNS challenge and now it's waiting because DNS challenge takes time almost up to two minutes and let's see what's happening here it's doing something let's wait for the server configuration reloaded messages So what's happening right now is uh, what happened is that we see we saw that it found an empty key it went for registration registration started it was provided a challenge it's solving that challenge and it's checking the DNS proper record propagation using international servers and then it says that this subdomain has been validated the server has validated our request so now it's cleaning up the acme challenge because it doesn't want any garbage there and this cleaning up requires some time as well and then it says validation succeeded requesting certificates server responded with a certificate and the configuration is reloaded and how much time has passed from uh, testing certificate that's thir 1739 to 1741 roughly two minutes so now we see certificate has been issued to us uh, a wildcard certificate let's see what's the status on the disk I see a certificate file which is 13 kilobytes in size which is good size less acme.json I see a certificate which is a renewal wise is valid or time wise is valid I see the staging server certificate server was accessed and I see that a certificate section is there which is talking about star.lab.trackman.com and I see a certificate and I see some key that's it very good so now I should be able to browse uh, these these uh, these uh, services but they are on my local computer right and they are running as docker containers so they are not on the internet so I need a DNS mechanism to point to my localhost for anything which is going for lab.trackman.com, right? 
So I go to my etc host file and here I'm going to add lab.pragma.com entries. I'm going to say that all of them actually reside on my local computer and I'm going to say traffic.lab.pragma.com and I can't type that so many times so I'm going to copy and uh, yeah uh, and the next dot uh, and what else is there tomcat and just these three there should be enough so now if I go to my browser and brow try to browse these I will actually be sent to my local container so you see I, I didn't uh, actually need to be on a public IP address and I can get away with anything here I just need DNS challenge to succeed so I go to this Chrome, I open incognito mode and I open nginx.lab.pragma.com I should, I'm trying to go to HTTP, not HTTPS so I should be redirected and I should get a certificate which is invalid but I should get it from Let's Encrypt there so I'll first check the certificate many people are they just want to go to this advanced place but just check the certificate here it's issued to this common name star.lab.pragma.com and it's issued by fake let's encrypt and it was issued at 541 and it's right now 45 so this is uh, four minutes ago which is correct so I am getting a correct certificate. It's a staging certificate, but it's a, it's a certificate coming from Let's Encrypt. So this is Nginx. I press F5 a couple of times, it works. Then I check uh, Tomcat. Is it there? This is the same certificate. Yes, nothing. There's no default traffic certificate here notice okay and if I go to my traffic come on that is also redirected and its certificate is again the same certificate it's the one it's one single certificate being used for all of them it's a wildcard certificate Ah, I don't remember its username password. Oh, admin secret. Very good. So I see all the front ends and back ends. I see all the traffic working properly. Very good. Hooray. Hooray. So I have my stack working properly with staging certificates so this mechanism is tested now I can switch to using production certificates okay so for that I need to stop my stack very good and very importantly I need to remove the staging certificates remove act uh, remove acme.json and I'll just recall the command for touch and change mode list minus L just to make sure I did the right thing always do the right thing do the right thing that is our motto at Pragma do the right thing I all right uh, we have uh, JSON file which is empty or certificate file which is empty our stack is stopped and we need to configure traffic.toml to contact production uh, certificate I still think it's very silly that to use production certificate you just comment out everything this is stupid uh, okay 
I'm, I've commented out staging, so now when it runs, it will actually contact the production system. And remember, it will take up to two minutes for DNS challenge to succeed. So let's let's start. Docker compose up minus d. Bismillah. Very good. Docker ps. I see four containers. I check the logs and if I just recall the logs command the container name is still the same so I press enter. I see provider uh, Acme. I see an empty certificate. I see a request and a DNS challenge being solved right now. Good good progress so far and it's accessing production Acme server it has done something more it has uh, it's now checking DNS propagation and server has validated our request it's now cleaning up DNS challenge because it doesn't it's not needed anymore so the zone file will still look empty if you go there this one there are no entries here meanwhile it has created something and now deleted as well I should have been fast enough to show you that but never mind now I'm waiting for the service reload messages very good hooray we have validation succeeded requesting certificates and server has responded with certificate Hooray! List, and I see a beautiful file here, acme.json with 13 kilobyte size, created at 1850. Um, if you check it, of course it's there. It's using this production system uh, certificate. It has this private key. It has this uh, certificate section which is issuing a wildcard certificate and then this is a, the actual certificate and the key and that's it. Let's go and uh, browse, verify that it works. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to open a new incognito browser and see what do we need to check? Nginx dot lab dot pragma dot com. Enter. Yes, I see. Uh, I don't see any certificate errors. I j I'm just redirected directly to HTTPS site, and I see a normal locked padlock sign. Certificate says valid. Issued to star dot pragma dot com issued by let's encrypt authority x3 uh, which is the production system production certificate server very good if i remove this and change it to tomcat of course everything will work now it's a wildcard certificate so anything behind this domain name being served by this traffic instance will work What's wrong? Spelling incorrect. Tarefic. No. Sorry. Trafic. Dot lab. Dot pragma. Dot com. There you go. It is working. Everything is there. And if I click the health, I would see the last few sites I visited. Uh, through this traffic proxy which is nginx and tomcat and i see some other stats beautiful it works so our dns challenge worked this whole thing works very good very very good okay so let's check our topics our topics where are our topics here 
Okay, so DNS challenge was our la last topic and we have covered that already in this video. So everything is done. So this was uh, this was traffic. Uh, I hope to make a couple of more videos on traffic, but using Kubernetes as the backend container orchestrator. Uh, they will come up, but not very very soon. So I see you some other day, some other time, in some other video. Bye bye.